Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Moritz. Today I'm going to be walking you in and around a used 2020 Renegade Verona LE 40 LRB. Um, pretty cool to have this coach. It is available. It's a used 2020. Uh, good list of options on it. We're going to walk around the inside of it first, then we'll shut it all up and go through the outside. So let's actually start in the cab. We'll go front to back today. This 2020 Renegade Verona LE is built on the Freightliner M2 106 chassis, just like all Freightliner, or just like all Verona LEs. So up in the cab here, over on my left side, we've got power adjusting mirrors up on the top, and those are also heated mirrors. Also over here on this left side, we've got some switches. So increase and decrease the intensity of the dash, headlights on and off, marker lights on and off, set except or resume accelerate set coast the cruise control your cruise control main switch pretty basic steering wheel uh, normal turn signal stock on the left air horn up above my head on the left very easy dash now i said this is a used coach i've got the uh, odometer right here 13,540 miles give it just a second it'll pop back up 13,540 miles on a used 2020. So low mileage, this coach is in excellent condition. Uh, there's nothing here that I would say is out of the ordinary in terms of damage or wear. Here in the middle, we've got the on off switch for our fog lamps, the rear differential lock. If you're ever in a slipper situation, you can actually lock the rear differential. Touch pad for our six speed automatic transmission. That is gonna be an Allison 3000. Power window, power windows both driver and passenger side the switch for our mirror heat unlock and lock the doors parking brake engine brake this does have a two-stage engine brake so you have a high if you push it up and a low if you push it down center is off an option switch so if you want to add let's say a light bar or something Fre Freightliner puts a dummy switch in here so you can just plug it in right there regen switch and then trailer or truck camera select so this is prep for a trailer camera if you had your stacker or something that had a camera on it you could hit it here and then that camera would display on the screen in the middle also in the middle we've got the garmin screen this is going to be our navigation our music bluetooth camera this is removable so the passenger can pull this out while you're driving down the road let's just say go to map type in where you're going and get directions and then just pops right back in there it's on a magnet down below we've got just our standard hvac controls for the cab and then up top here we've got an additional screen so this is something that i actually recommended to the customer when he purchased this unit uh, all this is is a screen that is dedicated to cameras so on this renegade and all renegades we only have the screen in the middle. We don't have a dual screen to watch the camera. So if we have a tow vehicle or something up here, this screen is just gonna always be on the rear camera so that we can see the tow vehicle, see our boat that we're pulling, the horse trailer, whatever. Just gives you a little bit of extra safety uh, being able to see what you're towing. It'll also do your blinker cameras. If you turn on your left blinker, boom, there's the left side of the coach. I've got the slides out right now. But uh, just so you have an idea, this was an aftermarket thing that I recommended to the customer who purchased this coach new. So also in the cab, both of our seats, seats are going to be heated and air ride. So at the push of the button, I can raise that seat up. All it does, uh, putting more air in it, is going to make it a firmer or softer ride. So you see, when I sit in it, it drops down. If I sit here and air it up, it'll get a little bit firmer on the ride. So we've got also three adjustments here for lumbar control. So we've got a mid back, a high back, and then a pretty much under your butt there. And then the switch for the heated seats. Now both of these cab seats also swivel. So all you have to do is slide it forward just a little bit. Helps to raise it up just a couple inches so that when you sit in it, your knees aren't gonna be in your chest. And now this seat is usable in the living room area. So, and you can again adjust the height of this. If you're a little bit taller, we can move it up. It's not gonna work real great right now because I don't have the engine running, but we can move it up so that your knees aren't, you know, sitting like this. So, 
pretty much it for the cab area. Up above, we've got just some storage. Now right here is all the manuals that came with this coach when it was new. This shelf is adjustable up and down. There's also two 110 volt outlets in the very back of that cabinet. Directly over the cab, we've got the Jaboni solar controller. So this coach is equipped with 525 watts of solar to keep those batteries charged up if you're boondocking. The controls for our auto leveling system, the controls for our Magnum 3000 watt inverter, the power switch for our WineGuard RTT20B, which is an, an in-motion satellite. Now, if we wanted to, we could set this up for Dish Network, DirecTV, or Bell, and then just your satellite plug-in. Over on the driver's side, another really big storage here, two, one, two more 110 volt outlets. Now, this shelf is also adjustable. We've just got these little stands here, pull them out, move it down, uh, make it as tall or as short as you'd like. Coming back into the kitchen area, we've got the 19.7 cubic foot Samsung residential refrigerator. And down below that, the freezer drawer with an ice maker. We've still got water in here, so we're getting a little bit of ice made. Back behind the refrigerator, pull out pantry shelf. Makes it very easy to access. Um, and also gives you a good bit of storage in the kitchen area. Coming back farther, microwave, just a Samsung 30 inch microwave. Two really nice big cabinets right next to that microwave on the overhead. You do have an outlet back here for that microwave. Um, if you ever needed to find an inverted outlet quickly, you could always unplug the microwave and plug whatever you need into that outlet. Down below, solid surface countertop. Now this is an all electric coach, which means you get the two burner true induction cooktop. All the induction means is you're going to have to have an indu induction capable pan, just a magnetic pan essentially, in order to use it. single bowl, undermount sink, with a residential faucet so you get the sprayer nozzle. Coming over here just a little farther, 50 inch Samsung HD TV on a pivot arm so we can pull this out and move it around wherever we want it to be for the best viewing angle in the coach. Now also back behind that we've got a really big cabinet, another uh, 110 volt outlet, and then on the other side of the TV, there's another one that is a pass-through cabinet. Now if it was me personally, I'd probably use that cabinet for things that I'm not going to use a lot, maybe board games, things like that. Just a good place to store them out of the way. And then when it's time to travel again, just push the TV back, it does lock into place so that it's not going to rattle while you're driving down the road. Down below the TV, we've got the Samsung Blu-ray player and the Samsung soundbar. Now if we were going to use that satellite dish that is installed on the roof, we would put the receiver right here, whether it be Dish Network Direct or Bell. Underneath that countertop of TV, we've got just a couple really nice big drawers. Now notice all these drawers are dovetail construction. They're also uh, quiet closing, soft closing. Huge cabinet. Now this would also double as kitchen storage, so pots, pans, those kinds of things right here. Another big cabinet underneath the sink. We've also got a subwoofer for the sound system on the TV. And then three more drawers just for added kitchen storage, uh, knives, spatulas, towels, anything you need. We've got the drawer space for it. And then one more huge cabinet, pots, pans, liquor cabinet. So uh, lots of storage in the kitchen, big counter space. I mean, you've got this space all the way over here underneath the TV that you could be using as prep space while you're cooking. Uh, it is big enough that you could fit a good po size pot here, a good size cutting board. So lots of counter space.
coming over to the passenger side all the way down the passenger side slide we've got a really nice big deep cabinet now again you could use this as kitchen storage um, this is definitely a flexible storage situation where you can put whatever you need to in here down below uh, the customer who owned this coach previously did not like the couch that Renegade put in it, so they put their own reclining sofa in here. So this is the Thomas Paine sofa. It's power recline, power or power recline. It's also got heat and massage in it. Nice, comfortable sofa. Um, it's not exactly the same color as the rest of the coach, but it blends in very well. Over here, we've got the table and chairs set up. You can see down below this is how you strap those chairs down while you're driving down the road so that they aren't rattling and falling around another really big cabinet if you're the type of person who works while on the road this would be a great place to keep the things you need for work I'm just gonna move this one out of the way so lots of storage in the table as well and then you get the little buffet over here on the wall so if you're eating here, you could have your serving dishes up on the buffet so they're not crowding up your table. This table also extends out. So there's just a one safety latch over here. Now we do have two folding chairs for this coach. So you could sit up to four people here at any time. Coming back into the middle of the coach, this is a Verona LE LRB, so it is a bath and a half model. So we've got our big mid bath, solid surface undermount sink, nice cabinet below, and then up top in the vanity, we do have another or a medicine cabinet with adjustable shelves, so we can move those up and down as needed. Two 110 volt outlets. And then up above, more storage for your half bath toiletries, a couple extra rolls of toilet paper, toilet chemical, that kind of stuff. This is the perfect place for it. And this is all enclosed by a sliding locking pocket door. There is a safety latch just on the inside of this door so that you don't have to worry about it sliding while you're driving down the road. Bringing back into the bedroom, we've got another pocket door here. Sliding, locking, same as the bathroom. Now this one locks a little differently. Instead of having a safety latch, you've got a couple big magnets inside that wall. So once it's open all the way, it stays secure. Stacked washer and dryer right here midship. What I do like about how Renegade does this is it's not obstructed. You know, if you're in here doing laundry, it's not like it's a cramped space. There's plenty of room to work. which brings us into the master bedroom. So first things first, 72 by 74 king bed. Storage up above. And then right below this cabinet, we do have a control pad. That's gonna be for our lights, uh, start and stop the generator, the reading lights that you see that are on up above the mattress. All of that can be controlled right there above the bed. You never have to get out of bed to do that kind of stuff. On either side of the bed, we do have two 12 volt USBs and two, one, er, two 12 volt USBs and one 110 volt outlet on either side, as well as a little nightstand here. So go to bed, throw your phone up there, stay nice and secure. In terms of storage in the bedroom, eh, we'll let him come in. Really nice big hanging storage. Another AV compartment, that's going to be another Samsung Blu-ray player. So if you're going to use that satellite dish on the, room, or on the roof, your receiver for the bedroom TV would go in that compartment. Now down below, we have all of our circuit breakers and fuses for this motorhome. So you never have to go outside on a cold, windy night and try and find circuit breakers. More storage for your clothing. And then two more hanging wardrobes here. Now, if you do take long dresses or longer clothing items, the bottom of this one does pop out. So you can hang them all the way down through the, uh, through 
the top storage into the bottom storage. Now the master bath on this coach is equipped with a 36 inch radius shower. So nice and big, plenty of room to do what I need to do in here. Now this door does have a magnet liner right here. So when you close it, it closes nice and solid. And then just for while you're driving down the road, just a simple little latch so that this thing doesn't fly open and break. In the master bathroom, another medicine cabinet, adjustable shelves up and down. Now the toiletry cabinet, now this is more of a master toiletry cabinet. Um, you can keep some linens in here, uh, more toilet paper, more toilet chemical. And then another one up top. One more storage down below the sink, but more importantly, this coach does have a toilet paper holder. A lot of manufacturers forget that part, but Renegade does an awesome job and puts it in for you. So both bathrooms do have Tecma macerating toilets, so they are an electric flush toilet. Uh, helps keep your toilet sanitary, helps keep your great, or your black tank sanitary. So coming into the center of the coach, we're gonna talk about the Firefly screen really quick. So this is our main control panel for this motorhome. So from right here, this is just the home screen. I can go lights master on, master off. Look at my water level. So right now I'm at 67% fresh, 0% gray, 0% black. Turn the water pump on and off, tank heaters on and off. Generator start and stop, used coach. This generator does have 113.8 hours on it. I'm running it right now, can't hear it. And I'm also running the air conditionings with that. So it's operating under load as we speak. This is our main light control panel. So again, we've got another light master on, master off. Front master on, so this is just gonna be the living room area. And then every light in here can also be controlled individually at this screen. Right here, we've got our auto gen start settings. So we can set that generator to come on if our batteries get too low. This coach is equipped with three Group 27 AGM house batteries, um, not lithium. So this is kind of the old school, but we could set this. So let's just say if our battery said 11.7 volts, we want to start the generator and stop at 14.5. We'd actually set that to like 13.6. Um, once it holds 13.6 for five minutes, it would shut the generator off. The minimum run gen generator runtime is 10 minutes though. So it's gonna run for at least 10 minutes to ensure that your battery is actually charged, don't just show charge, and the max is 90 minutes. So a really nice feature if you're going out for a hike or my mountain biking or something, leaving the coach, you don't wanna come back to a dead coach, you can actually just set it so that it won't die or the generator will come on if it starts to die. All of our slide out and awning controls right now are showing locked because I've got the ignition on. I'm gonna shut that off really quick. And now it's allowing me to either extend or retract my awnings and slides. And then the last but not least on this one, we've got our climate control page. So what's really cool about Renegade Verona LEs is we actually get bay controls as well as front and rear. So the front and rear are heat or uh, air conditioning. Each, or this coach is equipped with two 15,000 BTU air conditionings with heat pumps. So we can control those individually, just depending on what we like. Maybe I like to sleep at the bedroom at 68 and I wanna live at 74. You can set it up however you want. Um, aqua hot source, diesel or electric. This does have, have an aqua hot 450D. So that's gonna use diesel fuel rather than propane on an all electric coach. And then the bay controls. This is just gonna be for heat and it's just gonna be your water base. So if you're out winter camping, you can set this to let's just say 40 so that that bay never freezes, but you're not burning a lot of diesel fuel or using a lot of electricity to keep that bay warm and keep it from freezing. So that's gonna conclude us walking around the inside. I'm gonna slide this thing in and show you guys what it looks like closed up. So just to recap what this coach is equipped with, we've got two 15,000 BTU air conditionings with heat pumps. It's a bath and a half Renegade Verona LE triple slide so in the front we've got the big opposing slides in the back we've got just the bed slide uh, it is equipped with the Weingard RTT 20B which is going to be an in-motion satellite for either direct TV dish network or Bell we've also got 525 watts of solar panels on the roof 
to keep us charged up if we're out boondocking and don't want to run our generators. Now, it's a good thing, or it's kind of nice for you guys to be able to see me closing this coach up because you get to see these slides operate. Um, you'll see as they come in, they operate smoothly. They're not walking, they're not laboring to close, which is just a good sign to see on a used motorhome. Now, every motorhome that comes through TransWest as a used motorhome does go through quite a few inspections, which will include everything front to back, top to bottom in the house, as well as everything front to back, top to bottom on the chassis. We are a Freightliner warranty certified dealer, as well as Cummins, Allison, um, anything on this coach can be handled here. Now we are also a Renegade dealer, so any warranty work that needs to be done will happen before it leaves as well. So before we walk out, going back to that Firefly panel, we've got one of the remote panels here. So we've got probably 10 of these around the coach. This one is really nice though because we got a light master on and off. So if I'm walking in that door after a night of conversating at the bar, um, it's dark in here, I walk in, push the button, all my lights are on. Uh, we can also extend and retract our awning and turn on our exterior lights as well. So, as we come outside here, a couple things to know on Renegade construction or Renegade coaches, uh, full body paint, there are no stickers, no decals here. Uh, it's going to hold up a lot longer over time, especially for those of you who do not have the capability of storing your motorhome indoors. Uh, all the windows are going to be dual pane tinted windows, windows, so better insulation. It'll keep you cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter with using less energy to do so. Gerard awning. So this is an auto extend, auto retract. Um, it does have a wind sensor built into it. So if the wind picks up and it starts bouncing too much, it will just go ahead and retract itself in. Over here, we've got keyless entry. So we can program your own code in here before you leave our dealership. And that way this door unlocks when you punch in your code without a key. And it will also work for the bay doors as well. Coming back or going underneath this coach, this bay is going to contain our Aqua Hot 450D. So we've got a diesel element there as well as an electric element to provide heat and on-demand hot water for this coach. Now this will be serviced prior to it le ever leaving here. Really nice big storage here. Now we're going to see this a lot, but all Renegade storage bays are carpet lined. They're also insulated. And then on the doors, we've also got insulation as well as an aluminum backer panel, two swing hinges, two slam hinges, so that this door closes nice, clean, crisp. You don't have to slam it. You don't have to fight it. Another huge storage bay. Now, in this bay, we've got two 110 volt outlets. So if we wanted to run something electrical out here, we can actually run an extension cord to those outlets through this hole, still be able to close and lock this door. On the exterior, we've got a 32 inch Samsung HD TV. Now, one thing I like about how Renegade does this is this actually opens up uh, a pretty decent amount so that it's not in your viewing angle of the TV at all. Some manufacturers, you'll see it sit like right here and it's kind of frustrating. As well as the Jensen head unit with two speakers, uh, AM, FM, Bluetooth. This also acts as a DVD player for this TV. So back in the uh, back passenger side, we've got the Dometic refrigerator freezer combo on a tray. So it pulls out nice and deep. Now this would never be obstructed by a slide out. There is no slide out right here. This will run off of either 12 volt or 110 volt, just depending on what power source you have available. You can also set the temperature on it to be either a refrigerator or freezer, just depending on what you preference. And then it slides away nice and clean. Very rear compartment on the passenger side, more storage. And then this is our central vacuum system. So there is a toolkit somewhere in this coach where we have a hose that can reach the entire inside. And there's also a port out here. So if you want to vacuum a car out or something really quick, you can just plug that hose in right there. 
and be able to vacuum things on the exterior of the coach. Coming around the back, full fiberglass rear cap. We've got the HD color camera up top. So that's gonna be for backing up. And remember I told you that we added that screen. So it is a dedicated backup camera. So right now, if we were sitting in the cab, you would see me back here. It'll be the same way while you're driving down the road. You'll see your tow vehicle. You'll see the vehicles behind you. LED marker lights and backup lights, LED lights all the way around. Three inch receiver with a 20,000 pound towing capacity. And then over here, we've got our seven pin connector for our trailer brakes and trailer lights, as well as our camera connection. Now remember in the cab, I showed you the switch that would change you from the truck camera to the trailer camera. That's where you'll plug in the trailer camera. Coming onto the driver's side in the very back bay, we've got our 50 amp power cord on a reel. So pull it out nice and easily. There is a hole right here to run it through the floor. That way you can close and lock this bay. Don't have to worry about things going missing. And then push button retract. So it winds itself back in. Now there's also two 110 volt outlets in that bay. Just so you have power over on the driver's side as well. Okay, so right here we've got our Cummins Onan 8,000 watt diesel generator. And that's gonna pull directly off of the fuel tank of this coach. So this coach comes equipped with 100 gallons of diesel fuel. This will pull right there. Once it hits 25% fuel, it'll stop running the generator just so you don't run the, have the risk of running yourself out of fuel. Water bay compartment. So very important here. We've got low point drains. Our water inlet hose is on a reel, tucked behind there. When we're done camping, push a button and it'll wind itself back up. Gray and black tank dump valves, black tank rinse, tank fill valve. Whether you're using city water or the water tank on board, just turn this valve to select. It's labeled, these are all etched on. These labels are all etched on, so you don't have to worry about a sticker that's gonna fall off or fade. Whole house water filter and then a little bit of hose storage all built into that water bay. Nice and easy, uh, very well labeled, so you don't have to try and figure things out on the fly. Now these two bays are gonna be our gray and black water tanks. So a couple things to notice. One, we've got just a little bit of insulation blanket here. Now if you were touching this right now, you could feel that there's heat pads on your gray and black water tanks, and this bay is also insulated and heated. So with those tank heaters, if you're out winter camping, you, they just keep those tanks, a, or give you a little bit more time in the winter before those tanks freeze up. Next bay, we're back to just more storage. More storage. And then last but not least on the underside, we've got our battery compartment. So a couple things here, we've got two 12 volt chassis batteries. Those are just gonna start your engine. Um, now, if we ever had an emergency situation where these were dead, we could actually, from the inside, take these batteries and connect them to that and start the engine. These are gonna be your two Group 27 AGM house batteries. I'm sorry, I did say three earlier. There's only two in there. But those are two very big batteries for those of you who are boondocking. Those in conjunction with the solar panels will keep you alive for a long time. Up in the front, again, this is a Freightliner M2106. We've got the Cummins ISL 8.9 liter turbo diesel. And that's gonna put off 350 horsepower, 1,150 foot-pounds of torque, which is a good amount of power now. Uh, I'm not going to say you're going to win any races going up hills, but that's more than enough power for towing a good sized trailer through the mountains. Close this up really quick. So while we're in the front here, the stock number to this unit is 5U211189. Again, it's a 2020 Renegade Verona LE 40 LRB. 
So um, one thing I did miss on this when we were inside, we do have 150 gallons of fresh water, 75 gallons of gray water, 75 gallons of black water. Uh, just to recap everything we've got on this coach, 525 watts of solar, two 15,000 BTU air conditionings with heat pumps, Gerard awning, full body paint, keyless entry, um, and a lot more. So very, very nice coach, well constructed. I promise out of all the Super Cs I've driven and used, Renegade is by far my favorite. So if you have any questions about this unit, please feel free to give me a call. Again, I'm Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My phone number is 303-482-6375. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll see you next week.